What is up, cows and ladies and gentlemen? This is Godzilla here, bringing you some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Trying to spice it up a little bit. Um, I, you know, Modern Warfare 3 was getting a little kind of stale, so I decided to go on over to Modern Warfare 2, and I'm having a blast with it. So, um, you'll probably see some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. You know, just you know, letting you forewarning about it because uh, I'm having a good time with it. I guess I'm just gonna keep uh, uploading it until I get bored of it, and I don't know the way it's going now. I don't really don't have too much problems like I have in Modern Warfare 3, so uh, I don't know. You know, this might just be a little break. I, you know, never, you know, you never know. Um, but so yeah, today's topic, uh, we're gonna be talking about some Coney 2012. A lot of you guys have probably heard it, and for the ones who haven't, um, you know, I'll kind of go into a little background about it and my thoughts on it. The reason why I didn't want to do this right when it came out is because I don't want people thinking I'm doing this for publicity. I'm all I'm doing this as to help them. If that means, you know, if that's the least I could do is help some organization catch a criminal. Um so pretty much Coney twenty twelve video was supporting the fact of making one man famous to enlighten people to sh to want to give to the money to the charity and make that dude's crimes come to the light to, for people to see all the crimes that he did. He did quite a few crimes and he needs to serve some justice. So that's what they're trying to do is make him famous and they put up some posters and stuff like that. So the official actually day, if you didn't know, uh, for the people who didn't watch the video, the official day that you put up all the posters, if you buy the action kit, I don't don't hold the price, you know, I, I don't know the prices, I didn't go check the store out, but you can buy an action kit, and you can get some posters, bracelets, all that, support Coney 2012 to capture Coney. So, and, you know, you can go, it's April the 20th, that Friday night, while the world sleeps, supposedly, you're going to go up and put posters up on every sidewalk, every wall, like every wall building or whatever, in your city, and that I would like to see, you know. So this is where my thoughts comes into play, um, you know, speculation. So if you didn't know the, the full dude's name is Joseph Coney, and I always get Jonathan and Joseph mixed up. So it's Joseph Coney, and uh, pretty much what he did, he's a uh, little rebel leader of the LRA, the Lord's Resistance Army. And pretty much what he does is he takes kids at a young age, abducts them, and makes them for the boys, makes them fight in his army, and for the girls, at sells them as sex slaves and uses them as sex slaves. I don't know if he sells them, but I didn't know he uses them as sex slaves. So, um, pretty much, see, the the uh, the kids in Uganda ha start off with a bad life, and a lot of them end up dying trying to escape. And what the producer of the video was trying to say is, if you make him famous, more people will be aware of his crimes. And kind of let other people know that the world we live in a new world that we don't tolerate this kind of BS anymore. For instance, Adolf Hitler and all that stuff. We don't we don't accept it anymore. We've let it in the past go, but now this is a new generation, a new world. That's basically what he was saying. And bravo to the pro, you know you got to give credit where credit is due. He did an awesome video of trying to persuade people, and I think he did a lot. He's gotten so much. He's got like so much success that they don't they even stop taking money because they've already got, you know, tons of money. And that's a charity that I like. When they actually find out that they have enough money. And if they need money, of course, they'll probably keep, they'll say, oh, hey, look, we miscalculated. We need some more money. You know, and people will be more than happy to. But we don't really donate money that's going to be going to your pocket. You know? And that that's the thing. Uh, a lot of people are saying that this Coney 2012 thing is just for publicity, for the dude, and trying to get money for them. But um, it, it, it is factual that not all the money goes to them. And it sounds like a bad thing to start off, but really, it's not. Um, you, there's no way around it. You can only give so much amount of money to the actual charity. Now, there's going to be costs, expenses for all this, for advertising, to get planes going back and forth to seeing these kids. To doing all the small stuff adds up, and that's where the money goes to, paying the bills and stuff. Then, extra money goes to help these kids in Uganda, or, you know... To, to arrest this Joseph Coney, trying to find him. They've already set towers up trying to spot him down and so forth. And, you know, I think he's going to get caught. I mean, with today's technology, there's just it's harder and harder to run from government. And, you know, and uh, he, there's rumors that uh, Joseph Coney now knows that the United States is after him. If you, and the, Yeah. Um, United States, a lot of people did some, like, uh, sign this 
thing, petition, saying that they are interested in calling in and doing all that stuff. So uh, Barack Obama, uh, President Barack Obama, sent 100 troops in to help find this Joseph Coney. So, I mean, I am proud to... So, yeah, so I'm actually proud of these people standing up for what's right and what they believe is right, you know? So, um, to, to my thoughts, you know, the, you know, I've been really giving my thoughts all along, but to the conclusion of it is that, yeah, we, I mean, I think we live in a new world, and it just shows that uh, people will not tolerate this indecency, this injustice, and hopefully that Joseph Coney will be brought to justice. You know, I, you know, I hate seeing mistreatment. I'm a proud supporter of bringing people to justice when they need justice. So, I mean... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much wraps up in a nutshell with the Coney 2012. They're trying to find uh, this dude named Joseph Coney uh, by the end of 2012, or and that's when the video gets expires and all this campaigning goes, you know, either to waste or it goes to be beneficial. You know, there's only one. It's all or nothing, pretty much. So, yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much w w what it is. And I wanted to just make a little commentary of my thoughts on it. And uh, so, yeah, guys, if you want to see their link, I'll put a link in, in the description about them if you want to go check out the website and sign and put your email address and your zip code in to, you know, acknowledge that you agree with them and so forth, guys. So, um, yeah, guys, so peace out. Deuces 30 and 2, beasted and feasted. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe in the top right. And on the top, um, the video is... The Black Ops 2 ideas, my ideas of what I think would be good for Black Ops 2. And on the bottom is the website for the Coney 2012, and you can go in there and check it out and get some more information and sign the petition if you would like. And peace out, guys.